I get back from a couple days at the beach and I'm flooded with the comments and stuff. I actually saw James at Pandera's box say the vandals and the in the and the Aryans were not were Christian. They were they were Aryans. He said they were Aryans and he said they were Christians. I don't think people what that meant knew what that meant. That was actually after I made the video. Um I wish he would have attached that to that whatever guy name I can't pronounce. But here are some more questions. Uh, this is from Mr. Richard Winkle. I got a couple questions for you. First of all, I was thinking about getting a tattoo. What is the orthodox opinion on that? Don't get a tattoo. If you get a tattoo, make sure you get it before you become orthodox. Why? Because the orthodox don't get tattoos. Why don't the orthodox get tattoos? Because the orthodox don't get tattoos. Why don't the orthodox get tattoos? Because the orthodox don't get tattoos. There's no innovation. Um... It's very American. Yeah, that's that's very Christian. If you put a big cross on you to show the whole world. Now there's tattoos that are done in Egypt that um, uh, to mark the body parts after they kill the people so they can actually collect the body. And then there are those who were Muslim who put the cross on them intentionally uh, so they cannot deny it. But I don't think you're in that group. So, no. No tattoos for you. Um, second, um, the second is about a deaconess. What do they do? Well, when you get baptized, you're, co you're covered in oil, right? When they do a baptism, they completely rub you down with oil. That was the deaconess's job. They weren't going to have celibate men or married men or single men rubbing down a woman's body with oil. Basically just her either naked or just wearing a very light white cloth for baptism. Many times we were baptized naked, so oiling down a naked female, yeah, no. That's what the deaconess was for. That's That was their practice as far as we, uh, we know it from the... Uh, from the ancient Greek church. And I think it was the Greek church is the only one that had it. So when it gets brought back, and I believe they did bring it back, that's the function. If there was other functions of them, they've been lost to time. And guess what? They cannot be regained. Because anything lost can't be regained. It's like, oh, we found this new book of the Bible and totally coincides with orthodoxy. Let's put it in the button now. Stays out. Uh, today I got home from church, and my wife attends an Assemblies of God, um, and I attended an Orthodox church. Good for you. She wanted to know if I worshipped, worshipped in quotation marks, Mary, and why would people in Ethiopia throw stones at a church? Go ask the Ethiopians. And no, we don't worship Mary. Today I, I had some missionaries visit. Um, what would the Orthodox response be? Uh, missionaries from what? From where? From who? Um, and usually not missionaries. Missionaries build houses. Build water filtration systems. These are proselytizers. Um, we just want to share the gospel with you. Yeah, you want to tell me that if I don't believe in Christ, I'm going to hell. Thanks. I think everybody got the message. Um, uh, what do, ortho do Orthodox countries allow missionaries? They shouldn't. They should kick them the fuck out. Um, I have knowledge of a couple of people who are missionaries to Orthodox countries. What should be... What should be... I do with this information. Tell them to get the fuck out right now. Get the fuck out of those countries. If I were there, I'd have a baseball bat with a couple of nails through it, hitting them as hard as I fucking could. Get the fuck out of our lands. Sorry, that's my reaction. That's my honest opinion. I don't care if it's... I mean, it's like communist infiltration. It's Muslim infiltration. I don't care. It's Western infiltration. Get out. Get out. You know, the uh, you ever seen American History X? You know what this means? Not welcome.
there are there are Orthodox missions in America. But they don't go preaching to people. They don't go proselytizing. They take care of the young, the poor, take care of the Orthodox communities that are already there, that don't have churches. Those are our missions. Um, but yeah, tell them to get the fuck out of the country. Those people are already Christian. Tell them to actually study Christianity because these people who are missionaries know shit about Christianity. They don't know the church fathers. They don't know how church church began. Maybe they were against the 300 years that Christians had to put blood into the sand, into the soil for the church to, to be around. If they're against that, then they throw, tell them to throw their Bible away because that's our Bible. We compiled it. Um, so this is kind of hostile, but worshiping Mary... Mary only points to Christ. How the hell can you worship Mary? That's ridiculous. There's a Gnostic group called the Coloridians that, that uh, worshipped Mary and thought she was part of the Trinity. But guess what? They died off. We survived. Come back home. That's my missionary statement to you. Come home. Assemblies of God. God help the assemblies of God. If you know, if you know people, if if you know people going to Orthodox countries as missionaries, break their fucking legs. Sorry, maybe it's just because I'm too tired. Maybe it's just because I'm irritated. But uh, I don't know. Fuck those people. Fucking terrorist scum. That's how you view them. Take it easy. Peace to you. May God save Serbia and Syria.